in this video, similar to the video that I did regarding your uh, news tickers, I wanted to talk a little bit about the web layouts that you did and what software packages you may find yourself working in whenever you're designing. Oftentimes as a front end designer, the next step is normally to create some sort of template or as far as an interactive demonstration. Really, the actual development side as far as scripting is one of the last things that we'll actually do for a client before we actually give them their content. You actually have three-ish, I will say, software packages as far as doing and working with this. The first one that I actually want to start off with is Figma. Figma is uh, one of the ones that gives you kind of the most creative freedom. It's also free to use, so you can actually get started for free here. I'm already logged into Google. I normally hook up my Google as far as logging in. And what this does is this gives you the capability that you can generate wireframes to work with either for your own uh, projects or if you're working on a team. So for instance here, here's kind of a basic uh, element as far as walking you through the process of being able to look at the overall Figma design here, where you can actually choose to play the prototype and work through and test your design. So this is why, again, in the previous uh, web project, I was asking as far as folks going through and creating both, for instance, a phone-based edition, but also as far as creating and working with the cell phone options as well, because you'd be making both here as far as the design goes. So that's one of the big software packages right now, and it works across multiple platforms. It works on Mac and PC. However, one of its biggest competitors is Sketch. Now, Sketch is actually only on Mac. So Sketch, on the flip side, is the exact same thing. However, again, it's Mac-based only. You have the capability of generating prototypes and things like that. So if you're in a company where you're only working on Macs, you may find yourself working in Sketch. Going back and just briefly touching on Figma, I'd say one of the drawbacks right now to Figma and one of the things that is in flux with Figma is the fact that it was bought by Adobe. Adobe had its own uh, kind of wireframing program as far as XD, it was called. Uh, it was free to users for a while, then it got lo looped in with the, uh, with the Creative Cloud. Uh, it is on its way out. Yes, there are companies that do have, uh, they do have legacy elements as far as the software package is concerned. But really, uh, now that Adobe has acquired Figma, we're probably going to see this phased out in the next couple of years. So you might end up at a company that does use XD, but the odds are good you're going to be running into either Sketch if you're Mac-based or Figma the majority of the time. So I encourage folks that if you were really into the design elements of like the web page and the cell phone design, you know, dive into Figma a little bit and play around with it because this would be the next step and you don't even need to be a programmer to do this step. This is still more the design element and you're gearing up and laying out for the programmers what they should be creating as far as the content is concerned. So hopefully folks, you know, this kind of helps break down a little bit further as far as what we were doing with the web uh, based project in GIMP and hope folks kind of sit down and play with Figma.